On this question, we want to solve the exponential equation using the method of relating the bases by first rewriting the equation in the form e to the u equals e to the v. The equation that we want to solve is 1 over e to the x equals the square root of e over e to the 2 minus x. The method that we're going to be using is called relating the bases. And as stated in the directions, we first want to rewrite the equation in this format. And the reason what we want to rewrite it in this format, e to the u equals e to the v, is because exponential functions have this uh, property called the one-to-one -one property. And it's um, allowing us to notice that these are y values, so we would consider this to be a y, and this is a y, and these y's are equal to each other because of the equal sign. And that one-to-one -one property says that if you have these y's that are equal, then these x's that are in the exponent must be equal, so u must equal v. So it allows you to simplify the exponential equation into some other type of equation. So we're going to start by trying to rewrite in this format. And we're going to have to use some properties of exponents. So one of the properties we're going to use is related to negative exponents. When you have uh, a base raised to a negative power, you can get rid of that negative power by writing this as 1 over b to the n. That's because that negative um, means reciprocal. And also, if you have 1 over b to the n, you can bring that factor of b to the n to the numerator by putting a negative in the exponent. So that's what we're going to do with the left-hand side of this equation. So for 1 over e to the x, we'll write that as e to the negative x using the properties of negative exponents. The next thing we're going to do in the numerator is notice that we have a radical. And radicals can be written in uh, exponent form. So anytime you have um, a radical, we'll say the nth root of something, then we can rewrite that as a power. And we're going to use the index, excuse me, so that should be 1 over n. Um, in a fractional power, we do that fractional power to indicate that we have a radical. So that's 1 over n. So for this example with square root of e, we can write that square root of e as e to the 1 half power. In the denominator, I'll leave that alone for the moment. And then we're going to use another property of exponents called the quotient rule. And the quotient rule says that if you have a quotient, a fraction, and in the numerator and denominator you have expressions with the same base, so we'll say in the numerator we have b, to the m, and in the denominator we have b to the n. So when you have division of exponents with the same base, what we do is subtract those exponents to simplify. So we are going to have b to the m minus n. That's exactly what we have over here. We have division and we're dividing exponents with the same base. So we're going to simplify by subtracting those exponents. That will give e to the 1 half minus 2 minus x. 
I put parentheses around the exponent in the denominator because I want to subtract that whole exponent. So we have finally gotten to the point where we have e to a power on one side and e to a power on the other side. And using this method of relating the bases, we're able to say that the exponent on the left, negative x, is equal to the exponent on the right, 1 half minus 2 minus x. So we have now transformed this from an exponential equation into a linear equation. And I'll solve this equation. I'm going to start by using the distrib distributive property on this negative. That gives negative x equals 1 half minus 2 plus x. I don't like it when I have fractions in my problem, so the next thing I'll do is I'll multiply every term by 2 to clear out the fractions. That would give negative 2, negative 2x equals 1 minus 4 plus 2x. That's what I get by multiplying by 2 on every term. And now I can combine like terms. I have negative 2x equals negative 3 plus 2x. I will subtract 2x on each side. And that will give negative 4x equals negative 3. Divide by negative 4 on both sides. And we have x equals 3 fourths. And x equals 3 fourths is the solution to this equation. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.